Hi, Peter with you. And in today's blog, I want to talk about mindfulness and meditation because the two words are used very interchangeably out there and there can be some confusion between the two. And, you know, in some areas, like, for example, the corporate world, they don't like meditation. That sounds way too weird and wonderful, but they love mindfulness. And, you know, there's really no difference between the two. But let's get to that. So what is the definition of mindfulness versus meditation? Well, again, definitions vary. But I guess the way I like to look at it is meditation is the practice, the thing you actually do. And mindfulness is the quality, the quality that you get. So you're practicing this practice of meditation to come up with this quality of mind called mindfulness. And mindfulness is, of course, basically not getting distracted or knowing when you are distracted, knowing when your mind is off and, you know, just thinking about random things when you've asked it to th focus on a particular object. So that could also be, for example, when you're at work, if you're doing some activity and your mind is off with the fairies rather than on the activity, you, you've got less mindfulness. So that's the way I like to define it. Um, however, other definitions out there in the world is that many, many people, uh, particularly sort of professionals, almost see mindfulness as a more of an umbrella thing in the sense that, for example, you can be mindful of going for a walk, you can be mindful of washing your hands, you can be mindful of eating your dinner, you can be mindful when you're talking to someone. Whereas meditation is mindfulness of sitting. So if you're mindful of all of these things, that's mindfulness, but when you're mindful of sitting down and mindful of breathing, that is meditation. Uh, so it's like mindfulness is the umbrella and meditation is one part of mindfulness, which is mindfulness of sitting. Of course, when you learn meditation, and if you've been doing my course, then I do teach mindfulness of walking, mindfulness of sleeping. And in fact, it is good practice. And, you, you know, for thousands of years, the teachers have taught that, you know, you, sh you need to be mindful outside of a formal meditation sitting so that you're mindful 24 hours a day and then there's you put extra effort in during your meditation sitting. So the two are very interchangeable. And so finally, where should we use them? Well, quite frankly, I just use them where they will get maximum impact. So when I'm talking to corporate people, I tell people that I do mindfulness workshops. And when I'm talking to lay people and do retreats, I tell them that I do meditation retreats. Um, and so that is really where I use it. Uh, and that's how I suggest you use it. Uh, because at the moment, there's a, um, a desire for more mindfulness in the workplace. And companies are willing to pay for you to come in and give mindfulness lessons. But they don't really want meditation. Uh, and then you know, but people want to go on meditation retreats, they don't want to go on a mindfulness retreat. So, or, or come to meditation classes. And then once you have the people, then you can explain them the difference or the fact that they are effectively the same thing, mindfulness and meditation. So I hope that, uh, first of all, clears up uh, something for you around those two words and gives you a way to use it in uh, your practice if you're a leader. Um, and also clears up some confusion because this is actually one of the questions in our exam. So uh, good to listen to this before you do the exam. Okay, Peter signing out. All the best.